Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. Do you see this image on your screen? I just generated this image with a simple text prompt by using this pixel wave model. This pixel wave model is a fine tuned version of the celebrated Flux1 dev model. And I already have covered that Flux1 dev model in numerous videos in the last few months. So if you're interested in Flux1 dev, please just search it on my channel and you will find heaps of videos from fine tuning to installation to LoRa's and a lot of other things. But for the purpose of this video, I am going to show you in a step by step simple tutorial as how you can get this pixel wave model installed on your local system and how you can generate images like these which you can see on your screen and which I have just generated. This pixel wave model is a fine tuned version of Flux1 dev and the creator has created it in 5 weeks on just one, one single GPU card which is 4090. The major thing about this model is that you can do different art styles, photography and enemy and we are going to test it out on various text prompt shortly. But before that let me show you how you can get it installed locally. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to our sponsors who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. Okay, so let's go back to this and try to get this thing installed. I will be using Comfy UI as you can see. If you don't know what Comfy UI is, go to my channel and then just search here with Comfy UI. And you should be able to find a lot of videos around Comfy UI. Especially if you don't know uh, what Comfy UI is, simply watch this video which says easiest tutorial on, on Comfy UI and you should be able to get up and running with Comfy UI in no time. So I'm assuming that you already have Comfy UI installed. Now, what you need to do here is first you need to download the models. Whenever you are downloading any Flux fine tuned model, you not only download the actual model, you also have to download three other things and I will show you what. So first up, in order to download this pixel wave model, go to this page on CVTI and I will drop the link in video description. If you have a good GPU card, like you have 48 GB of VRAM like I do, and I will show you shortly the consumption, go with the full model. If you don't have that, scroll down, and then you can download a quantized level, which are, for example, you can even go with as less as this 5.72 gig. So which is again in NF4 or this one, so whatever your GPU card is, just download accordingly. So I have a NVIDIA RTX 46000 with 48 GB of VRAM, so I'm going to download the full model. So right click on it, save link as, and then wherever your Comfy UI is installed, go into Comfy UI's directory, go into models, and in the models, go into the diffusion models, and just save there. You can see that I already have downloaded it. Its total size is 23.8 gig. This is one thing you need to download, then scroll down. Second model you need is called as VAE or Variational Autoencoder. This is a model which converts the image from latent space to pixel space. Now if you don't know what this means, latent space and pixel space, just search with on my channel with latent space or latent and you will see this video will show you, show you what is exactly the latent space mean and I would highly encourage you to watch it, you will enjoy it. Okay, so variational autoencoder or VAE model converts an image from latent space to pixel space so that we could watch it or vice versa. So right click on it, open in new tab, this is going to take you to hugging face. Click on download, save link as, and then in again in the models directory of Comfy UI, go to VAE and save it there as I already have done it. The size is just 335 meg. So cancel. Another model which we need 
is these two t5 xxl and clip l these are the two clip model clip primarily converts your text prompt into uh, a model understandable format so we need two for the flux model so again open them in new tabs they both will take you to hugging face click on download save link as go and this is a clip directory so you need to go to comfy ui models and clip in the clip one save both of these like i have done not only t5 but also the clip l so these are the four model files you need to download the actual model ve t5 double xl and clip l that is all we need to do once you have done it then you need to go with any flux uh, enabled workflow so this is a simple flux enabled workflow i will drop the link to it in my uh, video in my video description or you can just simply download it for free and i hope that this is going to help you so don't worry about it this is a very standard flux one dev workflow if you want you can even build it while just looking at it but i will give it to you so don't worry and all you need to do is to it's a json file so you will upload it to your system click on load and then just load it like this so you see i have this workflow double click and it is going to load it like this once it is loaded then just first go to load diffusion model click here this is our actual model it is already selected then dual clip loader make sure that you have selected both of the clip models t5 and clip which we have downloaded and in the v make sure that you have selected this v file which we have downloaded so we have downloaded four files now we have selected all of these four now what do we need to do next if you go to for example pixel wave site and this is image i generated right so click on it and then scroll down you see on the right hand side scroll down let's this is a prompt so copy this prompt all of it and then go to comfy ui just paste it in here i already have done it then go back here you see it says step 30 go back here and then these are the steps it takes to generate the image so i'm just dragging it up and sorry i just need to go here so you see it is it says step 30 so i just selected the step 30 here and then this is the seed value which they have given so just grab it go back to comfy ui and just make sure that you click paste seed value here and then click ok so this is all you need to do here now another thing which you need to do is that you need to select your scheduler and sampler again if you don't know what these are please search my channel these are basically the things which generate the image so if you go to here and go back from this in the model page if you go down this creator has told you that that go with dpmm dpmpp to m which is a scheduler and sgm which is a sampler so if i um i think i just said it other way around so dpm pp so if i just go here so this is the scheduler sgm uniform i already selected it and the sampler is dpm pp underscore two m so if you click on it and you can select it lot of others are there and the rest is fine and let me click on q prompt and you see that it has selected the model it is generating it and you see that it is now green it is running and it is going to generate this image shortly so let's wait for it should not take too long it is almost there and there you go how good is that look at the eyes look at everything even the reflection in the water is really amazing and if you just want to fix this image you can select it too instead of randomized you can go with the uh, you can just replace the seed value again which i gave it earlier so for example what i mean here is sorry i'm just going to click on this image just give me a sec yeah so i'm scrolling down 
this is the seed value and then i'm just going to select this seed value here paste it okay instead of random wise you can just go with fixed it will always create the same image and then i'm just going to say q prompt let's wait to see it should revert back to the previous image hopefully it is not an exact size but it tries to follow the same because the seed is what it adds the noise to this diffusion latent space and then it denoises it i'm letting it run so that you would also see what is happening there you go so it is more similar to the previous one okay so let's try to generate few more i'm going to arrange it so i will just make it closer to the prompt so that you would see what is happening instead of all that stuff let me do that okay in the next example i'm asking it that a rabbit with white fur and black tipped ear is sitting in a field of tall brown grass the sky is a deep shade of purple and the sun is bright orange also let's check our gpu consumption so let me clear it let me run it so it is consuming around just under 29 gig of vram so for the full model oh wow there you go so how good is look really good, really good look at the vividness of the image and of course we can change it in different values now let me give this one next up i'm just trying to generate an enemy which is a with the digital animation enemy style joy amidst the downpour refreshment atmospheric mood cool tones and all that stuff so let's see what it generates should don't take too long there you go how good is that really really good stuff and now let me try out one of the thing which really really i am excited about this model and that is the artwork let's see how the artwork goes a lot of models can generate these enemies and stuff but let's see art so i'm saying abstract portrait by leon kosov depicting a male figure with intense expressive brush strokes so let me run it and see how it goes let's wait for it so you see i have given an abstract portrait by leon kosov depicting a male figure with intense expressive brush strokes thick impasto layers create a textured surface primarily using dark tones so it also depends upon the prompt how good the prompt is and look at the abstract art it has generated amazing if you google this you see that it is very close to the style of leon kosov real real good stuff and my apologies if i am not pronouncing the names of these uh, legendary artists right uh, so my apologies feel free to correct me in the comments and name of the these big names uh, but really truly appreciate their work here now let's try out one more of the vincent co so it's a starry night beautiful rendition so i'm just trying to recreate it i'm asking it recreation of vincent van co iconic the starry night with swirling textured brush strokes and vibrant blue and yellow capturing the dynamic movement of the stars and village below i know it's not a detailed prompt but let's see what it does here and i'll also show you the starry night here the beautiful beautiful piece of art so this is the one let's see what it did here oh my god look at that can you believe that can you believe that oh my goodness so this is simply out of this world I mean, I could just frame it and put it in my room, really. This is, I mean, I don't have word, really. Okay, let's try out a few more. And we all know about Mona Lisa. So let's try that out by Leonardo da Vinci. So you see that I'm just asking you to do recreation of Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, capturing the enigmatic smile and intricate details of the original with smato technique and some lighting. I don't know how to pronounce that <clears throat> so i will just let it generate let's wait almost there oh my god this is crazy look at this how good is that how good is that if i show you the original 
its patterns are original but look we just want identical so nothing can beat the original but this is really really close amazing stuff and now let's try out creation of adam by michelangelo i already have started running it so i'm just again saying detailed interpretation of michelangelo's the creation of adam depicting the iconic scene let's wait almost there very nice very very nice how good is that and now i am going to do this pakistani truck art scene which is quite unique and uh, quite famous so i'm generating it let's see if it is able to do it so i'm just asking it to do a recreation of a traditional pakistani truck art scene featuring vibrant colors intricate patterns and ornate calligraphy so let's see oh wow it did oh my god looks so real to be honest looks like a photo instead of an ai generated image i mean i, I i'm not really sure if it's a ai generated image or real but look how good is that and that is why this model really provides a wow factor truly does next up i am checking out this el salahis they always appear who is an african artist i think from sudan if i'm not mistaken a real gifted uh, artist so let's see and this is the one they always appear this 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 so let's see what this model does this time hmm not bad bold colors and everything really good stuff cuz i have generated it in the bold colors as you can see with the geometric form very nice very very nice and look at this one this is a reimagining of the kyrgyz artist gaper aitev who is from central asia of course from kyrgyzstan and this is a serene beauty of the central asian landscape look how remote how peaceful this looks really really amazing stuff and now this art is from ancient arabian mosaic art which features symbolic motifs and geometric patterns and look how good this looks really beautiful and this is from my land my country australia so this is from the arnhem land which is at the top and near northern territory so this one is uh, indigenous art by it's a very very thousands and thousands of years of history and look how good this looks really amazing traditional aboriginal bark painting from arnhem land beautiful stuff okay now i'm going to generate this two faridas and this one i believe is from frida kalus from i guess from the uh, somewhere from south america i'm not exactly sure from where but this is a very beautiful painting so let me generate it and see how it goes so i'm just going to run it and meanwhile let me google where exactly frida kalus is from so she was in mexican so really good stuff so let's go there hmm, not bad and if you are from mexico let us know what do you think about this L looks really good because it is featuring the vibrant colors and to end it off let's do this interpretation of rajasthani miniature painting showcasing vibrant colors and courtly life so rajasthan is um, a state in india it's a desert state a state so let's see what it generates here almost there there you go how good that looks real real good depiction amazing look at the detail look at this uh spectators at the top and look even look at here it has really done it wonderfully well the horse is there and everything is depicted from the ancient indian art culture so look uh, i hope that you enjoyed it and you can appreciate this model i am definitely very very impressed by it hugely impressed by it and of course i would really give a huge shout out to mast compute who have sponsored the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of gpu so please do check them out also if you think that the content is worthy please consider subscribing to the channel If you are already subscribed do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching